going to start facing you because we're going to do our first moves here. So you want to feel right here. Feet are pointing straight ahead. You're going to stand up tall. Let's bring our hands to our heart center. So one way to get really grounded through your feet, wiggle your toes. You can lift your toes. You can feel the ball of the arm, the balls of the foot and the heel come down or just lift. So you can soften your toes. We're gonna add a little rocking forward and back. So you're gonna feel your weight go from your heels to your toes. Just a little movement. We're finding our center right here. So after the forward back motion, Take it to a little side to side. So you're gonna rock right to left. And you're using this again to find your center. So you wanna stay in the center of your feet and then gradually bring yourself right where you're centered, where you can soften your toes. We're standing up tall. You would lift your quadriceps, which is different than straightening your knees. So your knees are a little soft, but you pull up your quadriceps. Let your shoulders relax. Now, eyes can close. That will challenge your balance some. Or you can keep your gaze off your cheekbones. As we settle in, bring your attention to your breath. Feel your inhale. Feel your exhale release all the way out. We stay here for a few breaths. Feeling your inhale, breathe into your diaphragm, your ribs, your chest. Feel your exhale as you release your breath all the way out. You're taking one more full inhale. Full exhale. At the end of the breath, eyes would open. Arms are going to reach up. Take a big inhale. Reach up. Keep your feet grounded. Hands, heart center is your exhale. Two more times, just like this. It's a reach up when you inhale. Hands, heart center as you exhale. One more time. Reach up. Inhale. Hands, heart center, exhale. This time, reach up. We're taking a side stretch. Fingertips reach up. Clasp your wrist. Lean over to the right. Now, press a little bit more into your right foot as you stretch the side. Fingertips reach to center. Switching sides. Here's your up and over on the other side. Fingertips reach up to center. Take a twist. Arms come down. Hips stay to the front. You're twisting in your mid upper back. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Take your exhale. Add your twist. Here is the reach up as you inhale. Hands are coming back to heart center right here. Here comes your inhale. Reach up. Take a forward fold right here. Soften your knees, bring your ribs to your thighs. You can soften your neck. Take your first forward fold. Halfway lift. Ground your hands into your shins. Lengthen through your spine. Double check to see if your weight is even. Right and left foot. Exhale, take a forward fold. Ground into your feet, engage your core, bring yourself all the way up to standing. Hands, heart center. We do this two more times. Reach up as an inhale. Forward fold is your exhale. Soften your knees, release now. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, reach up, inhale, strong legs, strong core, hands, heart center. One more time, it's your reach up as you inhale. Forward fold is your exhale. Halfway lift. 
forward fold, reach all the way up to standing, hands, heart center. We're adding on from here. It's your reach up as you inhale. Forward fold is your exhale. Halfway lift. This time, bring your hands to your mat. Step your feet back into a plank. Hands ground down, walk your feet back, come into your plank, hold your plank here. Knees can come down to the mat, you're on all fours. Cow cat, drop your belly, open your chest, inhale. Drop your chin, pull your belly up, exhale. Now move through your spine as you take your inhale and your exhale. Take a couple more. Try to move every section of your spine. That would be from your neck, between your shoulder blades, down through your mid back to your tailbone, and then you reverse the movement. At the end of the next one, it is your child's pose. Press your hips back. Give yourself a stretch back in your child's pose right here. Now this child pose is wherever it feels good for you as you take this stretch. We're sliding forward in this sphinx pose. Forearms are down on the mat. Feet can walk back. There comes your sphinx as your toes reach away. And get really think length more than height. So you want to think how far away can you reach the top of your head from your toes. Release the pose back here. We're coming to all fours and going into your downward dog here. Here comes your downward dog. Hips press back. With our first downward dog, soften your knees. Push your hips back. Get a little extra length through your spine. Legs go straight. You lift your heels up. You're on your toes. And now you let your heels come towards the mat. From here, we're going to walk our dog. Lift one heel and then the other. So you're taking a little side to side as you walk your dog. Now meet in your downward dog. You can let your heels come towards the mat. They don't have to get all the way down. Soften your knees. Look to the top of your mat so you can step or walk. Meeting in your halfway lift. Forward fold. Here's the reach all the way up. Hands. Heart center. Here comes your inhale, reach up. Forward fold is your exhale. Halfway lift. Hands are coming to your mat. It is going to be a low lunge. Take the left foot back, and we're starting with our knee coming down to the mat. Now, I forgot to mention, hopefully you have a block nearby. We are going to take it into a deeper lunge when you're ready. But first we start here, giving yourself a stretch through your hip, back foot, toes can be tucked, they can be untucked, depends how you feel today. You're gonna start taking this left hand down towards your mat or your block. You're going to tuck the back toes. There is your low lunge, you're taking a little bit deeper here. Add a twist if you choose. Just check front knee shoots forward. Right hand can reach up if you choose. And can you soften your right toes? That's the front foot. Bring the arm down. Keep your block nearby because we'll need it for the other side. Shift your weight back and then take a big step into your halfway lift. Forward fold, reach all the way up, hands, heart center. Here comes your inhale, reach up. 
Forward fold is your exhale. Lift, halfway lift. We're gonna bring our hands to the mat. Step your right foot back. It's coming into your low lunge. Knee comes down. Set yourself up. This is to open up your back hip. Fingertips reach up. Bring your hand down to the mat or the block. You would tuck your back toes. There is the beginning of the low lunge. Twist, open. You can bring your hand back down. Block can go off to the side. Here's that weight shift. Push off the back foot as you come into your halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach all the way up to standing hands. Heart center. We're going through a full vinyasa. Reach up as you inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift. Hands are to your mat. Step your feet back. It's your plank. First, hold your plank. So make sure you're set up. Wrists are under shoulders. Engage the core. We're lowering all the way down to the floor, knees, core, toes. Bring yourself down. Cobra pose here. Wherever your cobra feels good today. Release down. We meet in all fours or downward dog. Whichever one works best for you. Connect with your breath. Breathe. Diaphragm, ribs, chest. At the end of the breath, you can soften your knees. So look to the top of the mat. Step, walk to the top. Halfway lift. Forward fold, reach all the way up, hands, heart center. We do it again. Reach up, inhale. Forward fold, halfway lift. Hands are to your mat, plank pose. Lower to the ground. Here comes your cobra. Meet in all fours or a downward dog. And connect with your breath. Feel the inhale. Feel the exhale. From here, we step, walk to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach all the way up. Hands. Heart center. One more time. Reach up, inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Halfway lift. Hands are to your mat, plank pose. Lower to the mat, here comes your cobra. Meet in downward dog. Connect with your breath right here. Feel the inhale, feel the exhale. Three-legged dog, right leg comes up. Hold it here as you let the leg stretch on the bottom. Bend the top knee. Open the hip, keep your shoulders squared. Reach the leg back up. When the foot comes down, take it right to the back of your left ankle. Give yourself a little extra stretch. So you're gonna use the extra weight of your right leg to add a little extra stretch on the left leg. Relax the right leg. Return to your downward dog. 
Lift the left leg, three-legged dog, start there. Bend the top knee, open the hip. Strain the top leg. When you bring it down, it connects right to the back ankle of your right leg, adding a little extra stretch here. Remember to breathe. Take the foot down to the mat, you're in your downward dog. Connect with your breath, full inhale, full exhale. And from here, you step or walk to the top of your mat. Meet halfway left. Forward fold. Reach all the way up. Hands. Heart center. Let's take a forward fold right here. You can take your hands to your hips. Take an inhale, open your chest, soften the knees, and bring yourself forward. So if you are comfortable going deeper, knees can keep bending, you would let your ribs connect against your thighs. Your next option, you would take your fingers and you can wrap them around your big toe and let yourself relax into your forward fold here. Your elbows open up to the side, your neck relaxes, your jaw relaxes. Stay with your breath. Your next option, if you're good here, stay here. If you want to go deeper, you would take your hand and put it underneath your foot. So your toes meet your wrist and you keep your ribs against your thighs, your neck relaxes and see if you can soften your arms, soften your face. Take one more breath. You would release your hands if they were under your feet or wrapped around your toes. Here's a strong legs. Take your big inhale, reach all the way up. Hands meet heart center. We're practicing triangle pose. Keep the right foot to the front. Take the left foot back. Triangle pose means your legs are straight. Knees are still a little bit soft. You're pulling up to your quadriceps. Fingertips are gonna reach out side to side. You are sliding your fingers towards the wall. So I didn't change my upper body. It's long and straight. Drop the right arm. I kept a long straight body. And that's where you take your triangle pose. So think straight lines. You're making triangles with your legs. You're making triangles with your arms. You're staying long and straight through your torso. And remember to breathe. Take one more breath. Make sure your front knee softens as you inhale. Bring yourself up. And we're going to take our triangle pose to the left. So you can bring your right foot in. Take your left toes up. Once you have that set up, you're going to reach towards the side. Now you didn't change your upper body. You would drop your left arm and then you would reach the right up. Now you don't have to go low. Remember, we don't have to, it's not about depth. It's about getting the work, lifting up to your quadriceps, making straight lines. Check in with your breath. Make sure your front knee is soft. Inhale, bring yourself all the way up. Take a step to the top of your mat. Hands, heart center. Take a full inhale. Take a full exhale. It is warrior two right here. Right foot to the front, left foot steps back. So the distance generally, to give you an idea of where your warrior two goes, Ankles are underneath your wrist is a general rule of thumb. Sometimes that feels a little too wide, but it's a place to go. 
Now with our warrior two, I want you to feel your feet ground into the mat. We are going to straighten the front leg, reach our arms up, inhale. There is your inhale. As you exhale, you bend, release, ground your feet down. That's your exhale. Reach up when you inhale. Feet stay grounded. Here's that slide down as you exhale. One more time. Take your inhale, reach up. It's your exhale. Settle into your warrior two right here. Hold the warrior two. Gaze can be over your front fingertips as you hold the pose. Focus on your breath, soften your shoulders. Reverse your warrior, flip your front hand, reach back. There's the reverse. Take an inhale, extend inside angle, bring your forearm to your thigh. Today we're gonna take the back arm and you're gonna bring it behind your head. So I'm gonna use that so you can have a hand, elbows towards the ceiling, big opening through the shoulder, the chest. Right here you can drop the bottom arm if you want the extra work. Keep thinking, press the back of the head into your hand. We're trying to get good posture. We're keeping the hand behind your head. It's a little triangle as you strain the front leg. Hold it open here. Remember to breathe. Stay with your breath. Warrior two, bring yourself up. Settle into your warrior two. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Now it's a big windmill. You're taking your hands around. It is going to be your plank pose. Arms sweep all the way through. You can adjust onto the ball of the back foot. From that low lunge, it comes right into your plank. Now your choice here, you can stay on your toes. We're taking our side plank. Set yourself up. You can be on your knees. You can stay lifted as you take your side plank here. Release the arm down. Here comes your plank. And now we take plank on the other side. Return to plank. Here comes downward dog. Lift your hips, press back. You can always take a child's pose. You can take all fours, whatever feels good here. It is at the end of the breath. You are going to step or walk to the top of your mat. Meet in your halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach all the way up to standing, hands, heart center. And now we do this on the other side. It is warrior two. Left foot is to the front, right foot steps back. So you choose the comfortable distance for you. And then just check front toes straight ahead. We're taking our inhale as you sweep your arms up. Front leg can go straight. There is your lift. This is your chance to ground through your feet. Exhale, bring it down. Two more times, just like this. Reach up, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. One more time. It's your reach up as you inhale. Here's your warrior two. Now we're gonna hold our warrior two. Soften your shoulders. Look over your front fingertips. Reverse your warrior. Reach your front hand back. Feel the length. 
extended side angle. Forearm to your thigh. This time, this hand is coming behind your head. We're just using it for a little extra. Chest opener, posture check. Hold your pose. Now your bottom arm can go straight, but remember that takes more effort, so depending how you feel today. Triangle, but keep the hand behind the head. So we're really working on making our triangle with our legs. Remember to breathe, and you can always come up higher. That might feel better for your body. Warrior two, you would bend the leg, let your fingertips reach side to side. Settling back into your warrior two. Feel the connection with your breath. Reverse your warrior. Reach back. Inhale. This is where we wiggle our hands. Meet in your plank pose here. Bring it down and through. Or any version you use to get into your plank. Hold the plank. Knees can come to the mat. Take a child's pose, press back. Give yourself a stretch through your wrist, through your back. We bring ourselves into all fours right here. So set yourself up into all fours. We're gonna work on our balance here. Take one foot behind you. Lift the leg. No higher than hip, heart, hip height. There comes the opposite arm. You're holding your balance right here. Release this side. And we get ready to take it to the other side. Foot goes back. Once you have that, leg would come up to hip height. Opposite arm reaches out. Then you hold your pose right here. Release the arm and leg. Take a cow cat, give yourself a little release through your spine. From here, it is going to be your downward dog. Start grounding down through your hands, tuck your toes, lift your hips. From here, you can step, walk to the top of your mat. It is your halfway lift. Forward fold. Reach all the way up to standing. Hands, heart center. From here, we're going to be taking this into a high lunge. If you want to have a block nearby, I am adding some twists, so you can always use a block if you want to use a block. Right foot is to the front, left foot steps back. So we're thinking high lunge. So you have your front knee right over your ankle, back, your heel is lifted. Fingertips will reach up right here. So hold your high lunge here. You can start bringing your hands to your heart center. Here comes the hinge forward. So depending on your spine, maybe you stay here, but if twisting is okay, you're gonna start taking the elbow to the outside of your thigh as you take the twist in your lunge. Now, can you activate the back leg? So keep the back leg active. Take one more breath, bring yourself back to your high lunge, right here. You can relax your arms. Now we're gonna bring this back leg in part way, so we're gonna go into our intense side stretch. That means both of our legs are straight. Hands can stay at our heart center today. And then think, hips are gonna slide back. So it's a big stretch for the hamstring of your front leg. Now, if you like to use blocks, this is a great chance to use a block. I am gonna bring this into a revolved triangle yet, just so you know where we're going. So here is 
intense side stretch, also known as pyramid pose. You can also relax so let your upper body come towards your thigh. But remember, if you have to start twisting in your hips, then it's probably not the right place to go. We're taking it halfway up. So we're all gonna meet halfway up. We're gonna take a revolved triangle. I'm gonna keep my hand on the block on the inside of my foot, but you could also take it to the outside if you have that mobility. And then you're taking your twist to the right. So that's your revolved triangle. I'm gonna take my arm down, it feels better, but you can keep your arm lifted. And I want you to think length through the top of your head. Stay with your breath. Bring yourself back to center. Now we're gonna take a big step back to the top of your mat. Hands meet, heart center. We take this on the other side. Here comes a high lunge. Foot steps back. First, it's the high lunge. Hands are gonna be at your heart center because we are getting ready to take this into your twist. Lean forward, option one, stay here if that's what's best for your back. Next option is your twist. You don't have to take it, you do not have to make it huge. Remember to breathe. You bring yourself back to center. This is where we're gonna take our blocks if you wanna use blocks for your intense side stretch. The front leg goes straight and you bring the back leg in part way. You wanna keep your hips level as you take it. So you could stay right here. This might be perfect. You might be able to let your upper body relax down, but that just depends on your body. You take it where it's best for you. A revolved triangle means hand is gonna be down and you add your twist as you open. Now I kept my hand on my inside block. Feel free to take it to the outside. And I'm also lowering my arm, but you can feel free to keep yours all the way up. It's what works best for your body. And remember to breathe. Bring yourself back to center. You can set your blocks to the side. Take a big step to the top of your mat. Just a half vinyasa. We're just taking a big stretch so you can lengthen, shake it out. Here's your forward fold. Soft and relax through your upper body. Here comes your halfway lift. It is your forward fold. Reach all the way up to standing. Hands, heart center. We're working on some of our balance right here. So give yourself a little shake. We're gonna start with our knees. So we're gonna start by lifting our knees. If you want to extend out long, I'm not doing that today, but you can use your strap and take it deeper if you want that. Otherwise, find wherever you like to balance best. I don't care which side you start with. We're gonna lift one knee up. So there comes the lift of the knee. And like I said, if you want to use a strap, you could do hand, big toe. That's an option. I'm not going to take it today, but you are more than welcome to. So once you have this, find your focal spot. We are going to open the knee to the side. So that's to add challenge to the move. Now, depending how you feel today, you can look over your opposite shoulder. We bring everything back to the front. Take your time, hold the pose, and then gently really sit down right here. Shake it up, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So first, get the grounding, stand up tall. When you're ready, the knee comes up. Wow. 
once you have that, if you choose, the knee opens to the outside. Our next option, looking away from the knee. Bring everything back to center. Take your time. Hold it just a little bit longer. And then go ahead, shake it out. Give yourself a nice little shake. If you need to do a little quadricep stretch, feel free to take a little stretch for the front of the leg. We are doing chair pose yet. We are doing tree pose yet. So if you need a little stretch, take a stretch real quick. Shake it out. Our next move is gonna be chair pose. I am adding twists, just so you know. I'm also gonna do mine with my legs together. Some of you feel better with your feet a little wider apart. You take the version that works for you. Here comes your chair pose. You're gonna slide down. So right here, I think. Sit back. Make sure you're engaged in your center. Now, I'm gonna take my twist high. So I'm twisting to the right. Some of you might wanna take your twist low. We've done quite a few twists, so you can choose to take it a little bit lower. I am gonna stay high. You pick the version that works for you. Remember to breathe. We're gonna bring it to center. We're gonna keep holding it. You're gonna challenge yourself. Let your legs work right here. Stay in your pose. Take your twist to the other side. You pick the version high. You can also take it down lower. It is really your choice. Keep sitting back and down. Remember to breathe. Bring yourself back to center one more time. Hold it here. Keep holding the pose just a little bit longer. We're gonna challenge our legs. Lift the next inhale, reach all the way up. Feel the length, get big. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. Take a nice forward fold, soften, knee soft, ribs to thighs. Let the neck relax, shake it out, shake it out. Let the jaw relax. Take a big inhale, reach all the way back up. Hands are coming to your heart center. Here comes your tree pose. So wherever you like to practice, here comes tree. And you choose which foot you wanna start with. Kickstand, depending how you feel today. It could be low. You might wanna go high. Once you have your legs, arms are your choice. They can stay at heart center, they can reach up. I'm keeping mine at heart center today, but you choose where you want your arms. Soften your breath and gently release your arms, release your legs, shake it out, and we take it to the other side. Here comes the grounding of the foot. Then you pick the version that works for you low, medium. Once you have your legs, Arms go wherever you want to take them today. Stay with your breath. Now we're going to gently relax your arms, relax your legs. Give yourself a little shake. We will meet at the top of our mat. We're taking it down to the floor. We'll start doing some of our four moves right here. Here's your inhale, reach up. Forward fold, soften, relax down right here. Let everything release, jaw, hamstring. Here's your halfway lift, one last time. Hands grown into your shins. Get a little longer through the top of your head. Hands are coming to your mat. We are stepping back into our plank. 
hold your plank here. Bring yourself down lower to the mat and take your cobra pose. Make it feel good. Take the time you need in cobra wherever it is for you today. Release down. Here comes your child's pose. Press your hips back. Give yourself a nice stretch through your back. From here, it is your downward dog. You're going to ground your hands, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Take a few breaths here. Breathe into your diaphragm, your ribs, your chest. Feel the full exhale. From here, we are going to oops, walk through into a seated position. So however you choose to get into your seated position, bring yourself through. Now we're gonna do some balancing. So rather than both pose today, we're gonna Cross your legs and you're going to hold on to your feet and balance right here. So we're just going to sit up tall as you balance on your sitting bones. You can gently release your legs down. And I'm going to, that is version one. So we're going to take a little break. Then when you're ready, you can lift your legs so you're coming back into your sitting. Now, if it works for you, you can start taking, I'm gonna hold on to my toes, you can hold on to your shins, your calves, and you would start bringing yourself, either legs bent, because that's where our hamstrings like to go, or you can extend out, making a V. And there's your breath. Feel the inhale, feel the exhale. You can gently bring it down. We are gonna do it one more time while your feet come down. Take a little break, step tall. If you wanna do a little lean forward, butterfly, down, dangle, whatever feels good. And then we set ourselves up one more time. So you could be sitting on your tailbone here, or your sitting bones. You could choose to open a little bit. You could choose to take your full V. And then focus on your breath. Take one more breath here and then gently butterfly bound angle. Give yourself a nice little break. You can either sit tall, you can bring yourself forward. Bring yourself all the way up. Bring your legs in, and we're gonna go into reverse plank, but I'm gonna show it in different stages. So depending on your shoulders, you might choose your reverse plank right here. So you would take it and open up because that's where it works best for you. Option two, if that works and you wanna to go to the next level, press into your feet and you're coming here. And then you wanna think, squeeze your glutes up towards the ceiling. Remember to breathe. You would gently bring your hips down. So those are two versions. We are gonna do it again. We're gonna do it two more times. So you can keep the legs bent where you were, but if you like to practice your reverse plank with your legs up straight, your hands behind, you would lift your hips with straight legs, and then you would come up here. So you pick the version that works for you. I'm keeping my legs bent today, but straight legs is your next version if you wanna take that one. You would bring it down, whichever version you're taking. We are doing one more. Give yourself a little break right here. 
Get yourself ready for your third one. Hands, and remember you can always stay down, especially if your shoulders don't like that extra lifting. Feet are running down. Here comes the push into the feet. Lift your hips. Remember legs can be straight if you want the long reverse plank. Choose that one. Gently release yourself down. Take a little forward fold here. Feet are going to reach out in front of you. Add your lean forward. Now be very gentle on this because our next move is going to be our bridge work. So I want to make sure you don't over extend here as you get ready. Bring yourself down to the floor. We're practicing our bridge right here. So carefully lower yourself down to the floor. Once you get there, it is your bridge. Think heels underneath, arms are by your side. Once we're up, we are keep, we are holding our bridge. So press into your feet, lift your hips. And you just wanna make sure things, you're out of your low back, so shoot your tailbone away. You are lifting, opening. You're more than welcome to walk your shoulders under. Just make sure your throat is open to the ceiling. If you like to drop your chin to your chest, see if you can take and open up your throat. We're going to hold it here. Stay with your breath. Pull it just a little bit longer. Hips can gently come down. And we're gonna do that one more time. So give yourself a little break though. I don't want you to do too much because we are already in our back. We wanna make sure we stay there. Here it comes. Feet are pressing down. Then when you're ready, hips go up. There is the lift of your bridge. Keep holding your bridge a little bit longer. Throat is open. And gently release your hips down. Take your knees together. Feet are about the width of your mat. Let your arms relax by your side. Here's your windshield wiper legs. Take a little off to one side, off to the other side. It's a little side to side. Take a butterfly legs here, bound angle, so you can open up, let your low back relax. A little bit more right here, so feel the release here. And then gently take a long stretch from your fingers to your toes. There comes the length as you reach. And then from here, we're coming up into a seated position. Do this carefully. I'm going to use my thighs as I bring myself all the way up. But you take whatever version works for you. I am going to grab my strap. I'm going to do some forward folds here. If you want to use a strap, go for it. If you don't want to, no worries. We do this all the time without a strap. So if you're using a strap, it's going to go around the balls of the foot. You're going to sit up tall. Add your forward fold. So I recommend going into this slowly. So I would do just a little bit as you lengthen the back of the body. Breathe into your back. And then when you exhale, maybe you go a little lower. But because we just did some back bending, you want to be gentle and slow. As you inhale, lengthen, breathe into your back. As you exhale, you can slide down lower, but again, it's not about going deep. Listen to your body. Feel the backside open. 
And we should always be able to relax through our shoulders. With an inhale, bring yourself all the way up. You can keep the strap around one foot if you're using the strap, no strap, no worries. Right here, leg comes in. I do like to show this version. If your knee doesn't like to cooperate, use a block so you don't pull at your hip or hurt your knee joint. Right here, you have this strap. It's your lean forward. There is a little rotation. Think the center of your chest or sternum goes over the thigh. And again, you only go where you feel that slight tension. You would never want your leg to be in pain. Quivering in a forward fold isn't good. You would want to back off a little bit. And then inhale as you bring yourself up and we're switching to the other side. You'll take this strap around the opposite foot. And again, the block is always a great option, especially if your hip and knee doesn't like the pose a lot. And then when you're ready, you would inhale. As you exhale, you add your lean forward. Think softness. So your breath would lengthen you. It would make your spine longer from your tailbone to the top of your head. It's your exhale where you just get a little bit more relaxed down into your pose. Start bringing yourself all the way up. You can set your strap to the side. We're going to add the lift of the knee right here. Now you can take it around. Hug the knee. We're going to add our twist here. So this is going to be version one. You're going to feel the twists right here. Sit up tall. Remember, you only twist if it's appropriate for you. Now bring yourself back to the front. I'm going to add one more variation. Your leg that it is out straight, if it works, if it doesn't work, don't worry about it. You're gonna slide the leg in. And now you have your, the goal is to get your knee stacked. It doesn't happen for all of us. I totally get it. But it's a little extra stretch for your hips. And maybe you add a little lean forward. Maybe, maybe not. And then sit up tall and add your twist to the right one more time. So there comes the twist. And so this is a variation of what we just did. You can always keep your leg out straight. Bring yourself back to the front. Both your legs are gonna go out straight. Here comes the little forward fold. Give yourself just a little break right here. We have the other side to go, which means your opposite leg is gonna come in. If it works taking it over, right, then we hug. You can add your twist when you're ready. Bring yourself to the front. Now this is where we bend the bottom leg. If it works, again, each side is gonna feel completely different. The goal is to try to stack your knees. Doesn't always happen. And if it's not meant for you, keep the bottom leg straight. So hold that, that pose a little bit longer. We're gonna add our twist here. So you're gonna sit up tall, see if you can feel both your sitting bones down on the mat, and then add your twist. Bring yourself back to the front. Open your legs to a wide V. This should feel good after stretching in that direction. Open up right here and add your lean forward. We're gonna bring ourselves all the way up right here. And we're gonna take our block. Now for the inversion that I'm doing today, we're gonna take the block underneath our low back. Legs are gonna go up to the wall, up the, it's called legs up the wall, minus the wall. 
Block is optional, so you don't have to add this part. You could just take your legs to the ceiling, but I'm gonna be taking, so you can see, I set the block underneath my low back area. Be gentle here. You're gonna to wanna to find that spot where it works. Arms are by your side. Legs go up when you're ready. And then we are gonna be here for a couple of minutes, just so you know, so if at any time you wanna bring your legs down, feel free to do that. We are gonna stretch on our toes. So I want you to think about stretching all your toes apart. Take a peek, did they all get space as you spread your toes apart? The big toe, your middle toes, then soften the toes, add little ankle circles in one direction. Take your ankle circles in the other direction. Now we're gonna point our toes one more time, point your toes up towards the ceiling, and can you move just your big toe towards you and away from you? So we're gonna move our toes around. So not just separating them, but move them forward, back, and just get movement in your toes. Use your feet muscles just a little bit more. And then you can add your ankle circles one more time. Take it around one direction. Take it around in the other. We're gonna pull our toes down. So think bottoms of the feet towards the ceiling. There's a little stretch right here. And now point your toes to the ceiling. Pull your toes down. Point your toes up. We'll do that one more time. Pull down and point up. And you can soften your feet, soften your ankles. I'm gonna take a V, give yourself a little stretch. I do support mine with my hands, but you take it where it works for you. You can start bringing your legs back up. We're gonna stay here for about 30 more seconds. So whatever version you wanna take, feel free to take it. If it's pointing your toes, flexing, making a V, whatever feels good. Or maybe you just hold the pose, let it relax. Take it just a little bit longer right here. You would carefully start bringing your feet down. And I say that because our hips have been on the block. We're going to remove the block. I don't want you to make any large movements. Once the block is gone, do your little windshield wiper legs. Maybe it's knees together, feet apart, whatever it takes to gently relax your back. And then it would be your windshield wiper when you're ready from there. From here, you can start bringing your knees into your chest. We're gonna give ourselves a hug. So bring your knees in. Here's the hug, and I want you to think, relaxing your back. Feel free to take little circles on your low back. That might feel really good. And take circles in the opposite direction. We're beginning this stretch right here. And I say that because the next moves, I want you to remember it's for stretching. So feet are coming to the floor here. We're gonna take our hands behind our head. And this is to stretch our neck and our upper back. So using your hands, you're gonna bring your chin to your chest to get a stretch for your neck and your upper back. So we're not doing any core work. This is about stretching your neck and your upper back area. So there you're using your hands to add the lift and the stretch. And then gently bring it down. We're gonna combine that with our knees. So take one hand behind your head. Everyone's gonna take their right hand behind their head. You're gonna use that hand to bring your chin to your chest to stretch your neck. Your knees are gonna come in and you can hug your knees in as you bring your chin in and you're stretching through your backside. And I want you to think relax 
release any tension in your back. And then gently release it down. Remember, we're using our hand for that. You're switching, so your left hand is behind your head. You use a hand to bring your chin to your chest. You would bring your knees back in, and this is a stretch. So there it comes, knees to chest, chin to chest, stretching, relax, and then gently let it all go down right here. So we'll bring our knee into our chest right here. One leg is coming in. The other leg can go out. This is our traditional hip stretch right here. Hugging the knee in. Open the arm to the side. Take the knee across your midline. There comes your hip. Spinal stretch, chest stretch. Bring it back to center. Take it right into a figure four. Ankle is over the thigh. You could stay here, open the knee, feel the stretch. You can lift. So there we come, the option to lift. Gently release it down here. And we're going to switch, take it to the other side. So now you're going to take the opposite leg in. And there comes the stretch. Leg can go out. Here it comes. Open the arm, take the leg across the midline. Bring it back to center. Here is your figure four. So there comes the opening wherever it feels good. Staying low, bringing it up higher. If your legs are lifted, you can go ahead, bring them down to the floor, on, do the legs. We're gonna bring the knee in one more time. Keep the back leg bent. I want you to keep it bent as you hug one knee in. And I want you to think little back circles. So one foot is down and you're gonna take the back circles in one direction with your knee in. And now you're going to do it in the opposite direction. We're going to be adding our inner and outer thigh stretch here. If you have your strap nearby, which I have my strap here, I'm going to take it around the bottom of my foot as the foot goes up towards the ceiling. So this is for your hamstring. And soften your breath. Feel your sacrum, your hip come down into the mat. So we always want to be soft and gentle in our stretching. We are going to open this to the outside, clasp the strap, and try the best to keep your hips down. So you're going to want to take your opposite hip and keep it grounded. Now, once your foot is off to the side, think about bringing your toes a little bit closer to your forehead. So it's not about going down lower. It's about adding a little toes forward. Leg is coming back up to the center. Switch the hands holding the strap. Take the leg across your midline. Bring yourself back to center right here. You can set the strap down, but I want you to do those little back circles. So the knee is back in and take your little back circles with one leg in. So it's a little back massage. And then you switch directions. 
and now we switch legs. You're gonna take the opposite leg here. Start with the circles. We're going to do the same thing on this side, little circles so you can relax this side. Switch the direction. And now it will be your hamstring stretch. Strap is going around the bottom of the foot. As you stretch through the back of the leg right here. And again, be nice. No one says the leg has to be straight. You can always keep it bent. Maybe you have it a little bit further away. Just feel the perfect stretch right down the back of your leg. And it should be in the thigh. If you feel it only at the bottom of your glutes or behind your knee, you need to soften it up a little bit. We're going to open the leg to the side. Here is the outside open. Try to keep both your hips down. Once your leg is there to the side, you're going to take your toes towards your forehead. So it's a little pull of the strap up towards your forehead. Start bringing the leg back to center. Take the leg across your midline. There comes the stretch here. Bring the leg back to center. Strap can go out of the way. Knee is bent, you're doing your little one-legged circles for your back here. Releasing any tension, switch directions. We really want to relax through our back. We're taking the bottoms of the feet together. This will be your butterfly bound angle. Little relax one more time through the lower back, hips. Our last stretch is going to be our happy baby. Knees are coming towards your armpits. Bottoms of the feet going towards the ceiling. Now, whatever version works for you, side to side rocking. This is our last move before Shavasana. If you want to do any other stretches, please feel free to do them, especially if you're feeling tension any place else in your body. And from here, we are going to take it into Shavasana. Feet can start coming down to the corners of your mat. Unless that bothers your back, you would let your, keep your legs bent. If you let your legs fall open where it works for your body. And then do any movements. Maybe you need to move your hips a little bit. Think shoulders down and relax. We do want to feel the base of the head settle into the mat. As we settle in, your breath relaxes. It goes at its own pace, its own rhythm. Take these last couple minutes to soften everything from the top of your head, soft face, relaxed jaw. Just soften from your shoulders to your fingertips, from your hips to your toes. Allow yourself to melt into your mat.
you will start adding some movement in your fingers and your toes. Take a long stretch as you reach your arms overhead. Your toes reach away. Feel the length of your body. Knees would start coming into your chest, giving yourself a hug. Bring yourself off to the side, letting your head rest in your arm. Taking a breath here to reconnect with your breath. We would start bringing ourselves up into a comfortable seated position. I am going to sit on my block. You could kneel if that feels better. Whatever works for your lower body, make yourself comfortable. Hands will come by your heart center. Feel your full inhale, full exhale. With the next breath, a big reach up, take an inhale, reach. Hands return to heart center. Namaste. Thank you.